Welcome everybody, New Mission Motorsports. Sorry, it's been a shit week this week. I have not been able to get my computer working right. Just got it going last night. Complete rebuild, CPU, new motherboard, new cooler. And uh, yeah, I thought it would be easy and it's not an easy task. But as far yeah, as that goes... And I'm just getting over the flu, so yeah, hopefully I sound okay. <laughs> Boy, it's been a great week for all of us. <laughs> yep. Hell of a week. So how'd you do in iRacing this week? Anything? Um, yeah, I ran a couple of races at um at uh, Auto Club and Trucks. Uh, did really well, but always got stuck in something at the end. Um, one of them I was running up at third, um, fell to probably like 11th or something like that. I got a bogus speeding penalty. Um, pit road speed, that. yeah, pit road speed's 55, and one of the boxes I hit 57, but dropped way back down. But uh, two miles an hour over, gave me 40 second hold. Ugh. Um, and then I fought my way back up to fifth, and then had some jackrabbit um, basically go he pushed somebody all the way to the inside wall and he went all the way to the outside wall then went all the way back in where I was trying to avoid him from the outside wall t-boned him and I mean I limped it in for a 12th place um, I think I got a 10th in the other one but uh it was a really good split and it was both of them were really good lobbies. Like we had really good drivers, really good personalities, a lot of give and take. Uh, it, it was fun, but I think that's all I did. I was sick at the beginning of the week. Yeah, I think uh, I racing from what I've seen on channels that I follow, the the races have actually been better on there than they have been even practicing on the Gen Sevens this week. I don't know about. Uh, Ross Chastain today. I haven't heard anything. I know he was hurt bad yesterday. They, his uh, PR rep said that he wasn't in the mood to talk. He couldn't talk after his wreck. But uh, I don't know. I think iRacing seems to have had better race. We'll see today. It's it's hard to judge. Yesterday's Xfinity race wasn't too bad. I, don't know, I didn't yeah, watch I, much of it. All I got was the ending. Um, yeah, I wasn't around for much of it. So Yeah. I, not even like I'm gonna know how practice and stuff like that went. I've been slipping this weekend. I gotta tell you, last week before all this happened with my computer, I was running. Went ahead and decided to run Miatas. I gotta quit running those things. I enjoy them, but they are bad on your I rating and safety rating. If something happens, the higher you get up. Me being B licensed driver, going down there, somebody hits me, that hurts me a hell of a lot more. But I got into a conflict with the guy last night when I got my computer fired up again i could see that he actually emailed me and apologized but we we're on olden park i think it was and he had a run off the turn down a long shoot and i went wide i gave it to him i was like you've got the room dude go for it uh i backed out early to let him have it and he decided to force the issue and he doored me like just shoved me right off the track slammed me stupidly i got in over my head really pissed off and Next turn came up, and I had a better run into that turn because I had the wide angle, so I decided to use that, and, yeah, I dumped his ass. <laughs> he, he was so mad. He was so, like, he's, like, yelling at me. He's like, what was that for? And I straight up said it. I was like, that's for freaking dooring me in the last turn. I just did what you did. I just did it right back. Yeah. Like, you did that to me? I mean, that that is nowhere near the right response, but. Yeah. I felt like hey, he knew he needed to do that. Racing 101. If you door somebody, be fast enough to get away from them. If not, it's coming back. Yeah. And yeah, he got it back. And like, <laughs> I felt bad. I mean, we both apologized to each other through Messenger. I don't like the uh, crap. I forgot the protest thing. I don't like to do yeah. that unless somebody's really being a jackass and you can pick them out incidents happened but yeah this guy and him and i talked back and forth through messaging on i racing i was like dude i'm sorry i'm sorry you know but yeah he he agreed that he shouldn't have done that and i told him i was like i shouldn't have done it but you had it coming <laughs> <laughs> that's funny i mean my car was okay his was not 
those Miatas, man, it's, it's just something about them. It's a handful. They are a handful. And actually, I did some running on a crap Charlotte Roval, and I love that track. I love the Charlotte Roval, and then I hadn't run Miatas in a while. The last time I'd run the Roval was actually in the truck. And getting into the Miata, I thought it would be easier. And it was even more of a handful. I was like, That's... I don't know if an update changed something, but it was, oh. I miss shifts like a champion in those things. Like, even, yeah, I always screw up the shifting. Even with the paddle shifter. Yeah. Like, I, I'm all, my shift is always off. Like, you can hear it. Oh, man. I haven't had that much of a problem with it. I have a shifting problem with the uh, GT3s, the 911 that I drive. Mm -hmm. Like I'm sitting there, I'll heavy brake down while I'm trying to downshift and I'll hit it and it won't shift. And all of a sudden I'll keep hitting it, keep hitting it, keep hitting it. And then it'll pop down two gears. And I'm like, oh God. If it would shift when I want it to, I want to get that mechanical slowdown, the mechanical yeah. aid and slowing down. And I don't know if it's a computer thing or what, but I mean, I could be at low RPMs and it doesn't shift. This is, I mean, this is a brand new wheel. Shouldn't have an issue. Does it happen just with the 911 or is it with all Just GT3s? with the 911. Hmm. That's why I did some testing on it at Watkins Glen to see if maybe like changing in RPMs, is there an RPM range that it likes to shift? And even in low RPMs, sometimes it doesn't want to shift when I want it to. So that, screws up my entry or i slide a bit more than i want or yeah i need to get into more uh road racing i've been practicing it like i'll hop in you know with y'all and stuff during practices for gt3 but man it's just i got a lot to learn i uh i appreciate your picture by the way <laughs> yeah <laughs> those of you that don't know i missed the gt3 race that i was leading in points now i'm I don't even know where I'm at after we had to miss it do a computer build, but I had to watch. And good old Marty here decided to put a nice picture of me watching, <laughs> a fake picture of me watching the race pissed off because the guy that I was tied with actually won. So I'm not mad much. <laughs> yeah, and the funny part is like the entire broadcast, we had a, I mean, as we would look at somebody or talk about somebody, like they would go off track, they would lose a position, something would happen to them. So Corey is in the chat on twitch and he's yeah. like talk about david trumbly show david trumbly and like no matter what we do like it just it did not happen for him like we, nope. we didn't mess him up so it just that's why i made a picture of Corey frustrated yeah. that <laughs> and of course the guy <laughs> that, that david work. yeah the guy that david was running he had issues and which is rare for yeah. this guy kevin mccann kevin mccann is if you ever get the chance to race him he is a monster when it comes to racing we literally said on the broadcast when him and kevin bernheimer were going back and forth and bernheimer was pressuring them i was like do you know does a good racer like kevin mccann actually get pressured like can you actually make him make a mistake later in the race we found out yes you know trumbly pressured him into a mistake and he would go off track same corner every time he had to hit that grass and uh, Trumbly was just able to basically jump it through the uh, chicane also. And that helped carry a lot of speed. Yeah, that's another thing. Like all those, the turtles that they say are the sausages or whatever. Trumbly drives the Ford GT, which is a fairly fragile car. And honestly, I drove, drive the Porsche. I picked the Ford before. Uh, I actually had one painted up for the channel and whatnot, but I found it very difficult to control this kid can drive the wheels off of it he was jumping those turtles all four wheels off the ground almost every lap oh. that you guys yeah, well at least that you guys showed. yeah we were we were waiting to see him lose it and just never maybe it's the the wide wheelbase or something not sure but i mean he would land it and just drive off of it it's he was nuts and then, yeah, Kevin McCann again another a guy that you would not think would make a mistake we saw him drive straight through the grass we saw him completely miss the bus stop. This is the Charvet Roval, the 2018. If you yep. get, like, give you guys an idea of what we're talking about here. But the Freaky Fast Racing League GT3 Series Wednesday nights ran at the Charlotte Roval this past week, and it was entertaining, and it looked to beat some people up. Yeah, it was hard as a broadcast because there's so much going. Like, they're, the leaders were doing such a great job. It's like, you know, it was hard to cut away to 10th place that was kind of running alone, you know? 
Mm-hmm. It, was, it was hard to show everybody when you try and that's why at least whenever i do like screenshots i try to make sure i got screenshots of everyone so at least they have something that's out there but yeah it was just, that was an unbelievable race like lucas and i were amped up after for a while after hey we got jamie coming in uh real quick on lucas i wish he was here again another guy i've had a question waiting for him for a while but uh, I had to leave the broadcast before you guys finished the other night. Did he ever do his little Kermit impersonation? Yes, he did. What's going he, on? He did. He did Hold one on. of the uh, interviews. Yeah, did Kermit. Yeah. Hold on. I'll... Well, welcome to the channel. <laughs> welcome to the podcast. Looks like you just bed. woke up there. <laughs> Fuck. He looked like he just woke up, man. <laughs> No, I've been up for a couple hours. I've just oh. been, I've just been racing. So oh. here's the thing. Here's another thing I wanted to talk about too, real quick. Again, I don't want to get political or anything on here, but uh, the racing community itself, I've run into some topics about the Ukraine Russia thing going on right now. I'm sure a lot of you listening probably already know what's going on, but people are already like making jokes and it's like hey stop this stuff because racing season's coming up you know you got those gt races or the you know the formula one races that happen over there i'm curious to see how the schedule and stuff's going to change or reflect that what's going on over there and i mean racing overall is something we enjoy but it's not a big thing compared to what's going on right now yeah yeah there's so much going on that I understand that you know people are passionate about racing but yeah you know, these families you know these these kids that are going to be displaced from you know being shelled constantly and yeah there's a lot more to it than just racing yeah our, here at new mission our thoughts and prayers are with the families i i don't know how people feel about it and everybody has their own opinion you're welcome to have your own opinion but in 2003 when i first deployed uh, it was just our company in Alkut, Iraq, and we had one company supporting us, and they were Ukrainian. We had a Ukrainian company, and it's like, you know what? They helped us out. It's time to, for us to help them out, and hopefully, though we enjoy our racing here, hopefully the real problems get taken care of. So I just yep. want to point that out there. I just, I've seen some stuff, people bitching about racing, and it's like, you know what, man? Yeah, just to just to feed off of what you're saying is, uh, yeah, deployment's deployment. You know, whether you're in wartime or you're just away from your family, your family missing you, your family not being able to know where you're at or what you're doing. You know, I mean that's such a hole. Yeah. You know, so, I mean, prayers for anybody that's deployed, and prayers for their families too, because it affects the yeah. families just as much as it does the soldier. And they're moving quick. I mean, my wife and I talked. If we I wouldn't mind going back. I wouldn't mind going over there. Honestly, I just can't. Government says no. I can't do it. Be a vigilante either. As much as that would be awesome, I can't do it. But yeah, I, I saw the uh, memes and stuff of like the uh, the old Ukrainian fighters, you know, lining up to to fight again and stuff. And it was it was pretty neat. Yeah, I mean, uh, props to again, not to get too political, but props to their president, man. Like, I don't know if you guys saw, but he just, people or our government was like, hey, we can get you guys a ride out of there. And he's like, I don't need a ride. I need ammo. Yep. And then there's a picture of him <clears throat> literally full battle rattle, what we used to call it, full gear, helmet, vest, everything, sitting in the trenches with the soldiers. And it's like, that's a leader. That's what we need. Lead, that's Leading from the front. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. So my thoughts and prayers and, and everything are with them and sorry to go off on a tangent there it's been it's been a crazy week with that stuff going on it hits me here at home a lot but back to racing auto club speedway again i racing i was hoping to get on it because i was figuring that would help my uh i rating and safety rating but my simulated car box over here decided to take a shit on me you still, you still <laughs> got monday morning yeah i'll definitely hit it tomorrow i have no comms I hope I fixed it, or I hope I figured out what it was, but I got to find that wire. I don't know if, <laughs> I don't know where I'm going to find that wire, but. Yeah, it's a, it's a fun track. It's definitely a one line at the top for most of the race. 
and then everybody else started breaking off and going two and three wide. We had a four wide on, uh, I guess it was Friday that I ran it. Uh, yeah, it's it's a lot of fun. I had never run it before. I bought it right before running it. I feel like Jamie would be one of the ones that just like, hey, it's the beginning of the race. I'm going to take it fucking six wide going through the grass. And Why I'm not? still going to stick it and win it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's definitely me. Yeah. You don't, you don't know unless you try. <laughs> It's a little bit slippery down there, but hey, it's quick. <laughs> <laughs> That's one thing. Uh, the first two laps, it's a uh, really, really slick at uh, Auto Club. So Is just it? about lap three or four to come in, run through the grass just to save the tires, boys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I thought this was a dirt track. <laughs> Yeah, y'all ain't slinging it. <laughs> He's the one that goes to his crew chief, put wet weather tires on there. Be like, dude, it's fucking dry as shit. He's like, the grass is slick. Put wet weather dude. tires. <laughs> <laughs> There's still a dew out there. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't even bring them. Go buy them. <laughs> yeah, there was some like Cooper mud and snows just fucking ripping everything yeah. off. Yeah. You got me and Marty and Keith up on the high side battling each other, and you see this little gray 28 car flying through the grass and like who the fuck is that there, there goes jamie <laughs> might as well just get the pro four out i'm gonna yeah. run some of that when i get done here yeah, yeah there, goes, are... there goes there goes jamie with the uh, mountain tires on <laughs> yeah <laughs> you just hear him humming woo, 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 as he passes you he'd be the only guy that gets a flat tire and isn't bottomed out in these gen sevens <laughs> 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 oh man That'd be great, man. Watching Jamie do Pro 4s is so fun to watch. Like, he's so fast doing it and so natural. It's like, yeah, I'm, I'm like 10 seconds slower than him. Exa- <laughs> yeah. Like, I mean, I actually ridiculous. went. I don't think I did it with him, but I raced with Keith one time in those Pro 4s. I hate them. <laughs> I hate those stupid things. They're so slow. <laughs> they're so much fun. No, they're not. <laughs> they're so <laughs> It's like getting a giant cardboard box and trying to roll down a hill on it. It's ridiculous. Oh, man. But like hey, trying, to, trying to shift the cardboard box is what it's like. Yeah. I mean, it's just it's just cumbersome. And <laughs> you want to go faster, and it's like, I, what? It's like driving my Jeep. It's slow as shit. Yeah, but at least it's not purple. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be hating on the purple. Old Grimace Jeep. I can, I can, I can paint a Pro Four purple. <laughs> Don't even go there about the Grimace thing. I got a buddy of mine that wanted to put a Grimace sticker on my one of my windows, and I'm sitting there looking. I was like, "Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute." Grimace, the guy from McDonald's, and he's like, "Yeah." He starts laughing. I was like, "Dude, he looks like a fucking butt plug." He's just like, "Yeah." <laughs> I was like, "That is not going on my Jeep." <laughs> Dick. Well, he does, man. What do you do? <laughs> Ashley, remind me not to let uh, Caden watch this episode. <laughs> Sorry, uh, a rear yeah, end apparatus plug? instrument, purple in color. <laughs> <laughs> Great place to get some chicken nuggets. Oh, <laughs> man. For some, <laughs> for some reason, Caden uh, just loves to, like, he likes to listen to podcasts when he's going to sleep. And he loves yeah. to listen to something that, like, I'm a part of. And I'm like, I hate listening to myself. So, like, as soon as he falls asleep, I'm, like, off. <laughs> like, done. Yeah, I don't, like, I gotta, like, I feel like I should sit here and be like, yeah, welcome to the podcast. Like, try to, <laughs> like, I hate that, <laughs> Hey, guys, what'd you think about that NASCAR race today? <laughs> they teach you in speech class to always talk like you're on a, uh, like, you're on a game show like to how to enunciate and stuff like that and to be pep about it yeah but everybody i guess everybody hates their own voice i guess that's a normal thing like everybody's like oh you sound fine it's like no i don't (laughs) sounds like i got freaking rosie o'donnell sitting on my nose and i can't breathe exactly (laughs) like i feel like my face is stuck in wrong spots on wrong people (laughs) and then we have this cutie jamie right here (laughs) <laughs> those glasses man i love them they help me see <laughs> i guess my daughter is joining us here now what is all over your when they um 
when they finally lift this mask mandate around here, I'll be able to wear them around so I can see in the store too. Uh, yeah, because you're uh, fogging up because of your mask. Yeah, and I'm just like, <laughs> boy, fuck it, I'm going blind. I don't care. Dude, I hate I. Ugh. People love their masks, but I hate them, especially wearing glasses. You can't see a damn thing. Dude, okay, so can I? I want to tell a funny story. So, <clears throat> I I got this Cummins, and I've tried like three times to register it. Right, like so I went to this one insurance place and they couldn't help me because of handicap plates. Then I went to AAA and then they couldn't help me because of handicap plates. Then I go to the DMV and they lifted the mask mandate, right? But going to DMV and there's like five of us in there without a mask. And then like, we all like met eyes and we're just like, <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> we're the brave ones, you know? Well, you live They're in California, like, right? Tri- yeah, like triple masked and like got a face shield and shit. Yeah. And you're like, oh my God. Well, we actually hear there was like that it was two years ago when this stuff started. So, I mean, it's been a long while. Like everybody was freaking out and everything. I, I never really did whatever. Being a vet, we have so much shit in our system anyway from all the shots they give us. But there was this woman at a Kroger here. And I had to show my wife, so I quickly snapped the picture. She had <laughs> taken string. Obviously, she has young kids. She had taken string and like pierced it through a diaper. <laughs> and she had a diaper, no. a nice pink little diaper on her face. Because masks weren't at that time out much. Like, and then the people, like, it wasn't like a normal accessory like we have today. But and then people were buying them out like crazy, I guess. You couldn't find masks. You couldn't find... That's when you couldn't find the sprays. You couldn't find hand sanitizer. <laughs> yeah, this woman was walking through Kroger with some string and a diaper on <laughs> Wow. You know, it's, too- <laughs> it's funny because they have, like, the little line on them that tells you if they're, like, clean or dirty. Yeah. You know, she's walking around with, like, a dark blue line. Like- <laughs> she's she got shit on her face. But but I'm safe. Anyway. Yeah. That's yeah. amazing. I mean, uh, to each their own. If you want to wear a mask, wear a mask. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. But you shouldn't make everybody, I guess. Whatever. Anyway. The, the worst thing is, uh, let's see, what was it? It was Tuesday that I was running fever. Well, in our, our health clinic on campus, like, you have to wear a mask. The worst thing is wearing a mask whenever you have hot-ass breath from a fever. <laughs> oh my god dude yeah <laughs> i felt like I, was, <laughs> I felt like i was roasting my face for like an yeah. hour it sucks so bad you're already hot i mean what do they say the armor used to tell us all the time like 80 percent, 90 percent of your body heat goes out of your head so yeah. now you're adding like i mean i wear a hat all the time but you're putting something on your face and it's just you got to be miserable like when i got sick i didn't do go to the doctor but yeah kids gotta do that every day in school yeah, yeah. We, here, here we were able to opt out. Um, yep, you can opt your kid out of it, which is yeah. Great. I wish we would have that here. Yeah, no, my kids are able to opt out of here as well. Yeah, but you're in California, you guys, not you particularly, but you know, well, you all suck. Yeah. You suck because of your driving techniques, and it actually works. You ass. <laughs> <laughs> you learn uh, it from I, traffic. I, yeah. <laughs> You never fucking threaded the needle or fucking threw a little corner on your life? <laughs> like I said, I've raced against you, and I'm just like, how the hell is he hanging? I guess I guess I have what they would call road rage. Yeah. <laughs> it's on iRacing, so it's simulated. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm only s- s- fake angry right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. I like it. Like, I don't know. I think I just like to be efficient. And I try everything and anything I can, even if I blow a few corners or screw up a yeah. few exits. If I could like link what I'm, my brain's thinking together, then you know, usually I'm happy. But I mean, yeah, I've just, raced against you before. I mean, you're you're definitely formidable. Yeah. I beat you before too, though. I'll remember that forever. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I mean, I'm not. I I enjoy the oval stuff but i mean lucas is way faster than i am keith is 
faster than me and plenty of tracks. Um, yeah. I don't know. Keep this quick. Yeah. I like, I just like the off-road stuff and road. I'm not so much an oval guy. Yeah. You're, you're definitely really fast on the, uh, the road courses. But I like, I'm trying to get right now, I'm trying to get my I ratings above 2000. That's my big thing. That's my goal for the season, too. And that Daytona didn't help. So I think next time I'm going to skip Daytona <laughs> and Talladega. And, you know, I think I'll trust Martinsville <laughs> over Daytona. What what helps me um, do a little better in, in these, these races with the I rating and the safety rating is I try to race B-class races at least. Yeah. Um, C-class at lowest because – it seems, you know, like when you go down to D or even like get super ballsy and race a rookie race, the amount of points you're going to lose is a lot greater than if you, you know, raced an A or B race and still finished last, you know? And I mean, you've told me that and I, I, you missed that part of the conversation where we were talking about, I don't know if you were there for that incident last week where that guy doored me and. I straight took him out. I felt bad about it. I shouldn't have done it. I even said that I did it, which was probably stupid. But, I mean, I don't condone it at all. But this guy was uh, – uh, yeah, we're good at time. Sorry, that threw me off. That, <laughs> that threw me thought, off. We're good. We I got thought that would be easy. <laughs> I'll, I'll let you know. I've been keeping an eye on Okay. That's why you, that's why you asked me about how long you find out about a protest. Yes. Because I had a feeling it was coming, but the guy contacted me and we talked about it and he agreed that he fucked up and I agreed that I know I fucked up. Right. I mean, if you guys ever, if any of you out there listening, join iRacing, don't do it. Don't dump somebody on purpose. That was a stupid move that could have gotten me in a lot of trouble, but bottom line is I took his ass out. So he rode me dirty anyway. Uh, Jamie had a rough night on uh, on Friday night. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> what was this? Was this the triple threat? Uh, it was, yeah. yeah, yeah. He he had good speed and just man, it was one of those nights where you just get caught up in everybody else's crash. So what happened was <laughs> I love we were, that I love we were that. fucking Dover. I hate Dover. I hate it. I hate it. I was like practicing on Indy Road because I thought that's what we were racing, right? And I'm like, only got down to a 135, guys. And they're like, well, that's fast, but we're racing at Dover. I'm like, fuck. So, <laughs> <laughs> so that's how it started. <laughs> then I show up to practice. I get like 10 minutes of practice in. Then my wife shows up from the store and has like a truckload of groceries. So I'm like humping groceries in and out. Then I come out, run a couple laps, and they're in Discord. They're, like, talking about steering ratios. And I'm like, I don't even know what it is. I don't know what my ratio – I don't know what I'm doing. And then I'm racing for, for hump, right? And so I ran, like, a 2347 or something. And so I was actually going pretty good. I was, like, second or third on the chart. Then I go to qualify. And I spin coming out of four. And go like on my green flag or my white flag lap, I spin coming out of four and like slide right past the finish line. So it like took my both my qualifying laps out. So I started in the back and it was just ass pounding. It was everybody was just like hitting each other. Nobody stopped. It was just mayhem. And <laughs> this week on Arca Break Weekly. Oh, <laughs> and then i remembered like I, that's why i don't race this yeah no yeah literally on the start of the race i got packed from behind and i mean like i had 30 seconds of optionals like i hadn't <laughs> even take i hadn't even gotten to the start finish line yet <laughs> really jesus yeah we started and Marty's like what the fuck? <laughs> i picked a good week for my computer to go to shit then i guess well, I mean, it was frustrating for me because not only just Wednesday night race, but this last week after my performance at the Indy Road Course, I got myself I up to third or fourth in the points. I see. 
Yeah, I think uh, I think I jumped you. Yeah, you're and, right on top of me now in an unperverted yeah. way. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I was able to. Uh, I had two early incidents, and after that, I was able to collect it and end up with a, a second place finish. Almost got a first. Um, I was in a tight battle with Caleb once uh, Jeroni had blown up. And, uh, I mean, I tried, but he blinked as we went into three. And yeah. I couldn't see where he was, so I did a little bit of adjustment and just overshot three and four and missed it. That Phoenix one still hurts me. That should have been a win. Yeah. I'm going to race that, all that day hurts. today. What's that? I'm going to race all day today. I wish I could. I got uh, other things I got to do, other commitments. I'll be racing again tomorrow. Unfortunately, no comms on the headset as far as microphone. I can hear. I can't talk. So Sometimes that's good. <laughs> With me, yeah. He's fresh from the door, somebody on purpose. Yeah. Yeah, like sometimes I go into these races and I'm just like, I'm gonna shut my microphone off. <laughs> like, I'm gonna like I'm gonna delete the button from the wheel so I can't talk to nobody. I should most of the time. Like it, it's just frustrating. It what happened was I put the new motherboard in and the wire from the original one was run under the motherboard and I ran it the same way, but this motherboard is a lot bigger and it pinched and poked a hole through the wire. So I got to find a new wiring harness, a new wire set uh, for the computer. God, I hope it's not going to be too expensive because I just spent a shitload. You're tearing up all kinds of shit over there, bud. Yeah, that was an accident. <laughs> As my daughter says, accidents happen. No, I, it sucks. There's a difference between spilling the milk and poking a hole through a wiring harness. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. I mean, it's just... It's really thin. It's got a really thin rubber surround on it, and I can't believe one of the solder pins actually poked through, and I think that's what did it. All I get is static. So Yeah, so that, that's what the static was last night, whenever you were testing? Yeah. Hey, did you? I know this sounds like redneck, but have you tried to, like, wrap it with electrical tape and see if it would... Yeah, well, wrapping it with <laughs> electrical tape is one thing, but if the wire separated, that's not really going yeah. to fix it. Jamie, well, that was the, that was the first thing that this coon ass said too. Yeah, I mean, I well, could probably dip some solder through it and see if the solder will can make the connection. I have another. I have another question. <laughs> oh boy, do you have? Is that wire like longer than you need? Actually, with the new motherboard, no. I had to reroute it another direction, and it pretty much puts it puts it at length. So, cut. Yeah, I, I see what you're saying. Cut, snip, solder you know get that section out <clears throat> i don't think i have the ability to do that with the amount of wire i have i have plenty of solder and stuff i could probably do that but i don't think i have enough room as far as length yeah go ahead do you have any wire i do not do, do not have, have any a, wire do you have a hobby store in there <laughs> as i say dude like actually we do not it closed up i want to say okay. A year or so ago after COVID hit. We're in a small town and it pretty much closed that up. I could probably run to the city garage where I used to work and pick up some wire though. That's pretty it's, redneck. I wouldn't run that on your on your like nice ass motherboard. Yeah, yeah, that's that's the tough part. Is like I, this motherboard was from what I can tell, it's one of the top ten of out of twenty twenty one. Like it's, it was ranked second out of all of the top ten and multiple. What did you What did you pick up? That Asus motherboard. Uh, the Asus 570e, and then I got the Ryzen 9 5900X for the CPU and an Arctic 2 cooler, water cooled system. So, so, and what graphics card do you have? That is probably the lowest thing on my totem pole right now, and that is the. NVIDIA GeForce 260, or RTX 260, 2060, excuse me. Oh, dude, that's cool. You'll be able to run all your shit wide open. Oh, pretty much, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's not the best graphics card out there, but I don't want to fucking spend as much as graphics cards are. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I built my computer, like, April, like, when Mar or COVID hit in March. Yeah. I built my computer in April. And I got the Ryzen 9. I got a 2080 Super. And then I got the X570 gaming motherboard. 
Hey, let's and, continue that on the other side of this. I got to cut yeah, you off. Sorry. Right. sorry, we're short on time, but uh, we'll be right back at the other side of this. I'll see you soon. Hey, everybody. Check out New Mission Motorsports Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday live on Twitch, the only channel dedicated to helping veterans and their families. Also, if you're looking for a league to join, consider Freaky Fast Racing League run by our very own Keith Fonseca. If you're looking for a great league that's safe, fair, and full of wonderful racing, running trucks and GT3s currently, consider Freaky Fast Racing League. See you on the track. So what kind of motherboard did you put in your, what was it, CPU motherboard you're talking about? Um, I got a 20, 2080 Super Black Edition, and then I got a Ryzen 9 CPU with a X570 gaming motherboard. So you and, and I pretty much got the same thing. Yeah, you're going to be, like, yours is way better than mine now. You upgraded so i don't know how just, you got the better graphics card yeah but you have more more cpu to push it and your motherboard's just as good okay well confession i don't know jack shit about computers i know it was expensive and it looked good <laughs> well, rise ryzen 9 like i don't know i i prefer amd when it comes to like gaming and um you know my wife their family owns a a couple computer stores in upstate new york so i got i got lucky with some good console you know on what what to do at the time so yeah i prefer amd well interestingly the amd right the uh yeah the ryzen 9 that i got there was a kit like you could get the cpu with the cooler attached or you could just get the CPU, and I bought just the CPU because I got, instead of an air cooler, I bought a liquid cooler that had two fans instead of one that it actually came with for cheaper than it would have been as the kit. I think it was like 80 bucks more, and I would have had a single fan air cooler on top of it rather than this double fan water cooler. Like, and I, that, I, shopping around kind of helped out because I got the better graphic or the better CPU with a better cooler separated than just the kit. Yeah. Of course it fried my motherboard, but you know, that's besides the point. <laughs> it just said, woo, 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 woo. Oh yeah. Nothing worked, man. I was like, I got no power. I'm sitting there trying to get ready to race Wednesday night. And I was like, I got nothing. Or doing chest compressions on your computer. Like, come you back, you bastard. Oh God. I'm sitting there. Yeah. With like, yeah. So a capacitor yeah. with little paddles on it, rubbing it on the computer, like, girl, no. What are the, you know, like with a, uh, like with a tester, you're like, where's it hot? Show me life. Show me life. <laughs> Tell me where the CPU touched you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it was bad, dude. I was like, I was so upset because for one, it, it went shit on, uh, fuck, what was it, Sunday? I think it was, I started looking at the stuff, ordered the stuff, and I was like, I already got here Tuesday. When we hooked it all up and plugged it in for Tuesday night, Wednesday morning, I was hoping the stream, absolute blackness. I'm like, oh no, something's wrong. Like we hooked something up, but it, you really can't plug and go and oh, no. pretty much. But yeah, I mean, I've never done it before. So I had to learn as I go. So I'm like, man, I fucked it up. But really, if you looked at the connectors, you know, you can't really screw it up. Yeah, it even like says where to plug it in on the motherboard. No, not really. There's two. There's actually two of them on there right now. That was a good guess. We got it right. <laughs> it's a good guess. <laughs> I pushed it hard, but nothing bent. So, eh. well, no. It, I mean, it said like what, what was it like? HHD LED was one of them, which is just LEDs, whatever. And then there was a uh, switch button, and it was two tiny little connector pieces side by side in the old motherboard but on this one they're actually staggered and we're sitting there like i don't know let's push it on there and see what happens and that's what we did and it worked <laughs> don't know how y'all would appear something <laughs> i don't know just throw no, stuff that, in there <laughs> that that pisses me off i mean i that i ran you know it like old. it was what's that i said you know we're old yeah there's Gosh. there's like a there's like a fourteen year old that'll listen to this and be like dumbass adults don't know nothing. Oh, about I'm them. sure. 
about them computers well years ago uh see my daughter was in kindergarten at the time and this is she's 15 now so 10 years ago let's just say that she was in kindergarten and they were learning computers in school yeah we for me computers. computers was a senior project how the fuck <laughs> In kindergarten, I was playing with that little steering wheel set where it's like the little car that's going straight and you just move it side by side. You know? Yeah. Like that's I know, what I, I know was exactly doing in kindergarten. Yeah. <laughs> like you're, you're like dodging like rocks and stuff in the road and stuff like that, but it's the same thing just on a wheel, you know, going yep. back and forth. That's what I was doing in kindergarten. That was my we computer. Had, we had Oregon Trail. Yes. <laughs> you had on that a fucking, dysentery. On a big ass floppy. Oh, yes. <laughs> or the jumbo floppy. Yeah, dude, it was like yeah. eight megabytes. I remember fifth grade when I was in fifth grade. That was like a thing. If we got to school early before class, our teacher would put it on the computer and we would kind of gather around and play until school started. Yeah, we yeah. used to we used to download off of Napster in our uh, our wood shop class. Yep. <laughs> Virus all of the computers. You remember I said, uh, I said Napster, not LimeWire. Come on, uh, yeah. not that dirty. <laughs> You remember uh, you're like just clicking whatever to get the fucking song. <laughs> yep. What was Why that other game? The... the Incredible Machine? You remember that one? No. Oh, you don't remember the Incredible Machine? Neither of you? Oh my no. god. No. It was basically like puzzles, but you had to like actually like shoot cats into a bucket or use dynamite to oh yeah, it was ridiculous. Like it gave you like a puzzle. And it's like, all right, get ball, this ball to this location. And you had like a select number of ramps, fans, electrical circuits, dynamite, blow torches, whatever. And the goal was to get this screaming cat or a ball to a bucket or something. <laughs> Sounds like Kitty Cannon. <laughs> it, it kind of like it, but you like Kitty Cannon, you're just shooting a cat. And that's mm. sad that we know what this is, too. But <laughs> yeah. My my favorite all time PC game was Gizmos and Gadgets, and that came out on DOS. I don't remember that one. It's like you're this you're this little dude, and you have to run around and solve like physics problems and stuff like that. And then you could like get baskets or like crates that build car parts or plane parts or blimp parts or whatever. And you like try to build this fast vehicle that will beat like the boss. Yeah, I was way too technical for me. Oh, dude, it was dope. <laughs> I was like eight years old, like waxing ass on DOS in Hugo's house. <laughs> yeah, it's a little like Your first I just, simulator. I just enjoyed putting dynamite under cats. So <laughs> You're sitting there. and that's ladies and gentlemen, why he was in the tree. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was just running away from lawnmowers on Paperboy or something like that. <laughs> oh my God, Paperboy, Frogger, Frogger, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I remember what's, uh, uh, what, like, what's what's some of y'all favorite games? Like, do y'all ever go back and play them <clears throat> and realize like how hard those games were? I played Paperboy like a couple of months ago, and I was like, dude, this thing was hard. Like, how did I beat this? My daughter for the Xbox. We just got the Xbox S. Wow. Well, well couple months ago and my daughter has fallen in love with sonic huh on the xbox or sega xbox we got like the emulator for or yeah it's you can play it like on playstation and xbox and stuff like that now yep but yes we downloaded we downloaded sonic it was only like 10 bucks and my daughter loves it Uh, i'm sitting there just burning through it i'm like man i remember this (laughs) We have a Nintendo 64. Oh, so do we. And, and we have like 007 and yep. um, Mario Kart. So my kids started playing, you know, and I'm like, I'm like in Mario Kart, like I'm like jump, jump sliding, you know, like bashing them off the track and shit. Yep. Then we're playing like 007 and I get like odd job <laughs> with the golden gun and I'm just yes. fucking them up. Yep. Now they don't, they don't even want to play with me anymore. It's like, Daddy, you're supposed to let me win. No, I'm OG with this. Yeah, that's so cheating. Yeah, I don't let anybody <laughs> just win for fun. The three of us would be fun because we've all been there. We grew up on that stuff. Yep. But yeah, I mean, Mario Kart's one of those things where it's like, I know I have to let my kids win, but no. No, you're not winning See, my, today. <laughs> my son, we were playing something the other day. I think it was Maneater. 
and like he started talking smack and stuff and he was like hey you want me to do that for you i'm like dude like i've been gaming way longer than you i know how to hold my own he's like oh okay well it looked like you were struggling or whatever i could beat it for you i was like dude like i was showing you how to play this game if you need me to show you up i'll show you up like don't think for a moment that i'm not (laughs) but he uh he brings out the, the competitiveness in me for sure how old your kid he's 10 10 oh yeah he's at that age where he's gonna wanna yep. yeah yeah he knows what i'm doing to his mom and stuff like that so he's trying to win her back and <laughs> <laughs> oh really yeah so i gotta <laughs> keep him in his place and let him know who the man <laughs> of the house is to own you and your mom <laughs> do you guys play any uh like modern games oh uh, <clears throat> I've been playing a lot of uh, Red Dead Redemption uh, role play. That's pretty fun. Um, I haven't found a team yet, but I really want to get into Ready or Not. It's a like SWAT based game. Um, I've heard of that one. Basically, you're stacking up on doors. You're mirroring doors. Um, well, that sounds like a fucking anxiety attack. <laughs> <waiting to happen. laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, it, it's what I do. So, it, you know, it, it's fun. <clears throat> it's fun trainer. Uh, and your people always act different, you know, so it's not like the same thing, kind of like we we're talking about 007, you know, to this day, you walk through 007, you know exactly where everybody's at, what their movements are going to be. Right. Uh, with ready or not, yeah, with ready or not, like, they can have a hostage, they could not, they can have a gun, they could not, you know, stuff like that. So it's always like randomized and they change based on the way that you always search. So it's pretty cool. Oh, they learn yeah. your your algorithm there. Yep. <clears throat> nice. I kind of feel bad. I I got a uh, the Battlefield 2042. I've been playing that, and if you haven't seen like Neebs Gaming, they brought back their uh, Battlefield friends, um, based on Battle or uh, 2042. Mm-hmm. But I was sitting there playing the other night, and to me, it's you know we're just whatever. I suck. I get my ass handed to me. But I feel like it's already a game, even though it's brand new, that hasn't aged well with the current situation. Because oh, you can yeah. only be either American or Russian. Oh, wow. And you guys you go remember Counter Strike? What's that? <laughs> Sorry to interrupt you. No, you're good. Go ahead. Well, you go on there and people in the chat, because you can't actually talk to each other, but oh my God, it gets ugly just because of what's going on. So I was like, wow, brand new game has already aged so badly because of this. <laughs> Dice has to be pissed because they're the ones that came out with it, and they're like, "Really, You're killing our game?" Yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, no. Jamie had asked about uh, Counter Strike. Yeah, I remember the old Counter Strike. Oh, Counter Strike, right there. One point six and Source. Yeah. the The game that got me really into uh, multiplayer stuff was on PS2. It was Ghost Recon Two. It was called Groth Two. Dude, that was the game, and like, we played so many hours on that. When I was in the military, we had like, at the time we had Black Black Ops 2, Black Ops and Black Ops 2 came out Mm -hmm. and Modern Warfare 3, I want to say. So I was like playing that. But then when I got out, like I just kind of, I quit playing shit like that. Yeah. And now like the only thing I do is like I I race and that's it. Yeah, that's. Well, I mean, I, I enjoy survival games, and that's part of a question I've been waiting to talk to Lucas about because he said something weeks ago about a survival game that I love. And like, I'm sorry, it's a great game, but he's like, oh, don't even get me started. I want to know what he hates about it. I like the uh, – well, I also got a, a hunting game that I need to really get into. It's called The Hunter. Uh, it's supposed to be relaxing and stuff. That's kind of what I do on – um uh red dead on the rp just kind of go hunt go mining hang out with uh like kurt and all that um other than that i'm into the ghost games like ghost hunters corp phasmophobia stuff like that there's a really cool uh farming game that i got like when i first got the computer it's a firefighter simulator the crew and basically you're uh you're fighting fires and stuff with like a couple of your friends simulators are taking off like, mm-hmm. I have the flight simulator for the Xbox. That's honestly really remarkable. 
uh, the truck simulators, of course, I racing, farming um, simulator, flight sim in VR is oof, amazing. Well, I was curious. I was like, does this actually really look like places? So I actually took off from different locations just to get a view. Uh, I went back to my home in Michigan. I took off from one of the airports there that my grandpa used to work at. Kind of flew over the area looking down. I was like, holy shit, I can see my old, I can see my school. There's my house. There's, and it looks fantastic. I mean, it's not perfect, but went up to Maine where my wife is from, flew around there, found her parents' home and everything. And I yeah, one, and, go ahead. Uh, one day during a race, I hopped in a F 18 uh, Super Hornet, took off from a little place here, and flew all the way to Myrtle Beach where Lucas is from while they were racing. <laughs> I got there before the race was over. That's so I did, a, I did a full flight. I mean, almost like after burner speed the entire time. Yeah, I tried to, I took off from, uh, was it Philadelphia? I think it was. And I tried to see if I could land it on uh, Pocono. Because they say that Pocono is like, it could supplement as an airstrip. Mm -hmm. I crashed. <laughs> 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 I don't know if it could handle a 747. <laughs> yeah in vr uh in vr i start to like roll a little too fast and when you roll fast like you feel it you know yeah. especially in vr so it really got me really touchy on those uh those controls but it's really nice it really no, is it's, it's a fun one i kind of i mean i i kind of laugh a little bit when i see people doing like farming sim or trucking sim and stuff like that and mm -hmm. it's like well there's a shortage of farmers and there's a shortage on truckers you could just get in a real thing <laughs> I mean, also, it's millions of dollars less. Yeah, to do the simulator, it is. It is when you when you think about the millions for you know the insurance plus the millions oh, yeah. for it's the it's, it's expensive. But I I enjoy it. It's a it's a way to you know calm down, wind down. Yeah, we all need that time to calm down here and there. I mean, yep. Jamie's got his way. Oh, I no. can't say I wouldn't mind joining them. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know what you're talking about. Oh, yeah. What are you telling? This is tobacco. I'm sure it is. What type of tobacco? Back Don't answer forward. that. Don't answer that. Homegrown. <laughs> <laughs> I make it the same time I make cakes. <laughs> I love cakes. <laughs> Whatever, to each his own, man. I'd do it with you if I could. Don't do it very often. But... Oh, yeah, it's shit. it's time to get these I ratings up, buddies. Yeah, I think it's about time to wrap it up here, man. I appreciate you guys joining me today. Third episode of New Mission Motorsports Mission Brief. Got our guys Jamie and Marty here. Appreciate you guys coming. Again, check out your veterans. Make sure they're okay. A lot of things going on in the world today. It's crazy. Help each other out. You know. World peace, yo. Yeah, right. <laughs> like that's never gonna happen. We can hope, but I doubt that's ever gonna happen. Yeah. Thank you guys for joining me today. You guys got anything else? Have a good day. Nope. Yep. Yeah. Enjoy good luck your on your eye rating. Stay away from Daytona. <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> cry myself to sleep after last week and hopefully I can get this computer fixed. Yeah, man. Let me know if you need anything. Yeah, I should be all right. If I can find that wire, I'll be good. Yeah, all right. Have a good one. Hey, take care, you. everybody.